Hi, today we'll be showing you cryopreservation using 3T3 cells. The first thing you always want to do is sanitize your workplace using 70% ethanol. Sanitize your gloves as well. And using Kim wipes, you want to wipe down the entire workspace. Is it alright if I come round? Is it too late if I come now? Would you stay up? Now bring in your cells that you just removed from the incubator. If I stay here, would you come back? If I stay cool, would you be mad? Would you want me if I want you that way? Open a sterile serological pipette by peeling back the paper like you would a banana. Be sure not to touch any part of the pipette. Remove the cap of the flask and remove all the media that is inside the flask. Use a waste jar to decant old media. Is it all right if I come round? Grab a new serological pipette and remember to always use sterile technique when opening your pipettes. If I stay here, would you come back? If I stay cool, we will be using trypsin to detach the cells today. Isn't it strange Draw two milliliters of trypsin and dispense it into the flask of cells. Remember to use sterile technique and don't insert the pipette all the way in. Slightly agitate to fully distribute the trypsin onto the cells. Use cells under the microscope to ensure that the cells are rounding but have not fully detached. After 10 to 40 seconds, remove one milliliter of trypsin prior to cell detachment. Discard into the waste container. Leaving trypsin in for about 10 minutes, tap the flask against your finger to make sure that they fully detach. If I stay here, would you come back? If I stay cool, would you be mad? Would you want me if I want you? Assess with microscope to ensure full detachment prior to deactivating trypsin with DMEM media. All I can't think about is coming over, coming over. All I can't think about is coming over, coming over, coming over. Draw up 2.5 milliliters of media, giving us a total volume of 3.5 milliliters. Thoroughly mix to ensure proper deactivation. Is it alright if I come round? Is it too late if I come now? Would you stay up to figure this out some way? If I stay here, would you come back? In order to if properly home, assess cell count, mad? remove a small amount and place it into an MC15 tube. Isn't it strange every time? Look at your name, I'm suddenly high. If I feel the same, I would do almost anything. I give away this, give away that. All of my 
Using a micro pipetter, grab a new pipette tip and be sure that it is set to 10 microliters. Remove 10 microliters of the sample from the MC15 and place it into a new MC15. Proceed over to the cell counter. Using a new pipette tip, remove 10 microliters of tripan blue. and place it into the MC15 that contained your cell sample for a total volume of 20 microliters. Triturate the sample 10 times and remove 10 microliters. Place into the cell counting slide. And insert into the cell counting machine. Our cells revealed 2.98 times 10 to the 5th cells per milliliter, which reaches a preferred cell count of 2.5 times 10 to the 5th cells per milliliter. Therefore, we will split our sample into two cryovials for preservation. We will now begin the procedure of splitting the cells which begins with centrifugation. Removing all the media from our flask, we transfer into a sterile 15 milliliter centrifuge tube. Take your sample to the centrifuge and spin for 5 minutes at 4,000 RPM. Now that we're back from centrifuging, there is a pellet at the bottom, so we are going to decant the supernatant without disturbing the pellet. And we will add 1 milliliter of cryomedia and resuspend the pellet. We are removing the media without disturbing the pellet. And discarding into a waste container. We will be using one milliliter of cryomedia and placing it into the tube. As mentioned, we will remove one milliliter of cryomedia and place it into the tube for resuspension. Now that we have one milliliter of cryomedia in our tube, we can resuspend. Make sure to mix thoroughly as you want to disturb the pellet. Grab 0.5 milliliters of the sample and place it into the first cryovial. Do the same for the second cryovial. We are splitting into two cryovials because the 3T3 cell line proliferates very quickly and this allows the cells enough space to grow when they are plated next year. And now we have our two cryovials that are ready for freezing, but first, place them in Mr. Frosty for 40 minutes. 
then you're ready for the liquid nitrogen. Hey guys, welcome to the instrument room. We're gonna free some cells, so come on down. Is it all right if I come this is where we keep our nitrogen tank and using goggles or safety glasses and gloves, we can access the nitrogen tank. Remove the pin and lift the lid up to open the nitrogen tank. We're going to lift our samples out of the tank. Removing the safety pin that holds the cells in place. And releasing the safety for the box, we're going to slide the box of cells out. Give the box a good tap to release the lid. And after removing the lid, we'll place the samples in the space provided. Now that we have our samples in the box, we'll place the box back into the appropriate slot, being careful not to hold the box for too long so that we don't burn our hands or disrupt the cell temperature. Remember not to keep the cells out of the nitrogen tank for too long as they could become damaged. Placing the lid back on to the nitrogen tank, we'll put the safety pin back on and hit reset. That's all.